Hi there, this is Adam Jones. I'm down here at SBS HQ in Wolverhampton. I'm stood next to my brand new UMS 545 fishing from the Wolf Rock Boat Company, and it is sat on top of this custom black SBS 1500. EL. Now this trailer is a little bit naughty and I'm super excited about the trailer. I'm really excited about the boat and it's ready to go. We're taking it out for its first fishing voyage in Chichester tomorrow, but we brought it up to SBS HQ to go and do some launching on their lake just to check it's all set up properly, add a few bits, make sure everything's in the right place um, and do a little test actually between bunk and roller, which is going to be another video that we put up on the channel at some point soon. Now with this custom black 1500EL, there are a few things that we have done. Firstly, it's custom black. So the whole trailer has been powder coated black. We've got this lovely stealth stripe, which is the black and white uh, version of the SBS stripe. We've also got um, black alloy wheels. All of those things are just tarty. There's nothing about that that's gonna make your trailer perform any differently, but it is gonna look fantastic. Underneath, we've also got the orange rollers again, look fantastic they're exactly the same as normal rollers um, but when you match it up with your boat coloring so obviously this is an orange boat uh, incidentally SBS orange um, and also we've got the orange rollers which look amazing so those things are aesthetic and there are a few things on this trailer that aren't aesthetic they're there to make trailering a little bit easier now I spend a lot of my time launching and recovering various boats on various slips around the country and with this boat I'm going to be launching it in the river on tight slips. I'm going to be launching it in the sea on shallow slips. Some slips are better than others with concrete and shale and all sorts of different uh, things that present themselves when you get your boat to the slip. So on this trailer, we have added an extended drawbar. Now what this is, as you can see, is a couple of meters of extra drawbar. This swings around into the ball hitch and essentially will allow me to have a meter and a half extra um, for putting the boat in the water. So if you've got a really shallow slip and you don't want to be dipping the tires of your car and the axle of your car every single time that you put your boat in the water, especially if you're slipping regularly and not just putting in at the beginning of the season and the end of the season, this extended drawbar could be invaluable for keeping the back of your car out the water whilst being able to get the back of the boat far enough down the slip to launch. So that's the extended drawbar, really, really cool. I'm excited to use that. Uh, the other thing that we've added is integral um, LED lights. So these lights go right the way through the chassis of the trailer. Um, and as we come back, I just bring Roy to the back of the trailer. What we've got is these LED lights, which are waterproof, military grade, and um, you can leave these on when you're launching your boat. So no more trying to work out what you're going to do with your um, trailer board. There's none of that mess, none of that faff. You just leave these on and reverse your boat straight in on the slip. Um, we've got a couple of SBS steps around the boat as well. Uh, we're just about to fit an Alco box, which again, when it comes to ease of trailering, I'm really excited about. It sounds ridiculous, but with my last trailer, I had all the straps. Like I said, I had the trailer board and all of that had to go in the car. Now we're going to have an Alco box on the front, so all of the straps can stay with the trailer uh, when I lock it up on the slip whilst I'm out there having fun, come back, pop the boat on the trailer, all the straps come out the Alco box and we're ready to go home with no faffing with a trailer board. As you can probably tell, I'm super excited about that. So uh, we're gonna get this boat to the lake now and do some testing, but that is the custom 1500 EL in black. Like I said, some of it's tarty and some of it's functional, but all of it is worth having a conversation with SBS. We'll see you guys soon.